Okay, so this is the Raspberry Boat. Uh, we're just going to go through the components and how everything works. Um, so here we have, as you see, we've wrapped everything in paper and uh, tape, because that's how you do it. The uh, Curiosity Rover is actually consisting of 90% paper and tape, so we did that as well. This is the Raspberry Pi, um, thinly wrapped here with the SD card. The GPIO, we'll return to that later. Um, and here we have the uh, uh, USB hub, <coughs> powered USB hub, because nothing works unless it's powered on the Raspberry. There's a 3G modem. This is the connection to uh, the servo, and we have connections to the uh, GPS and the front forward facing camera. The uh, uh, the 3G modem was actually one of the hardest parts to get working. Uh, we have the conf script up on uh, on GitHub if you want to download it. Uh, the GPS um, is accessed directly via node, so it just emits events whenever you get some data. Um, the cam was uh, the other big problem we had. Um, essentially nothing works, so we had to build a, a custom built C library, the C application which um, uh, reads the stream from the camera uh, which is an MJPEG format cuts it up into JPEGs and transmits those uh, using multiport X mix replace format so that the uh, browser can update the image um, back here we have the servo you can see it down there that's also connected to the USB hub um, that's controlled by a C library, a C uh, based node module so node can send commands to it um, then we have running off of here we have the uh, GPIO connections these go back here so if we turn this over we have um, the halt button we have the reboot button we have the uh, uh, status indicator for uh, modem, IP address, and done. Um, these are all controlled by a, a Python library and shell scripts during the startup sequence. Um, okay, so we have also, very important, we have the power. So here's our battery, it's a 7.2 volts uh, nickel metal hydrid. I guess it's pronounced uh, 4400 uh, milliamp hours uh, this is fed directly to the uh, to the motor and to a voltage regulator that transforms it to 5 volts to drive all the electronics of the rig and then that's connected to the master power switch so we can uh, switch everything on then switch on the computer and then watch everything light up so that's about it.